yes, yes, hello everyone outside that outside there that is watching us on BTN TV. Again, it is Teacher Fred who is presenting a lesson in mathematics. Today I want us to look at long division. Specifically, that is the lesson for today. I want us to look at long division, how can we do things using long division? So we shall straight away begin with the first number on long division. The first example says, share 7 million 348,840 among 10 students. That is the number, or the number that has been given to us, and they want us to share those mangoes among 10 students. So I would like us to see, first of all, what have they said. They want us to use long division. This time around, I want us to divide using long division. And we see if possible, if all this, this number can really be exactly divisible by 10 or it is not exactly divisible by 10. So when you look at the number, the number is 7 million, it is 7 million, <coughs> 348,840. Mangos be divided or shared among students. Remember one thing. We said when we come to division last time, division has got also different words, which means divide. So we have got uh, we have got the word share. Share simply once you see the question with the share, it means they are asking you to divide. Once you see the word quotient, just you know they are asking you to divide. At the same time, you can also get, come out with the word divide. So all those should be one thing. You shouldn't get cons, uh, confused over any word. So when you look at the example, the first example, they want us to divide this 7 million 348,400, I mean 800, divided by 10 students. That is what they are meaning. Share this among uh, this mangoes among uh, ten. So what we do, we shall come out with the number of mangoes, then we share it to the number of students who are given in a question. So I'll come here and say, since we are using long division, I'll first of all have to draw my long division sign that we are going to use. Long division sign. After that. We shall have our as seven million three hundred forty divided by ten. So this is what we're going to do. We are going to have the number which is inside the long division sign divided by the number which is outside the long division sign. Remember this or put this in consideration. Any digit inside the long division sign is supposed to be divided. Every single digit is supposed to be divided by the number which is outside. So we are going to look at the first digit. We have got seven. So we shall have our 7 divided by 10. When you have 7 mangoes and you are required to give 10 people, you realize that the number of mangoes you are having at the moment are less than the number of people you are to give. So if it happens that the mangoes are less, then you will not give out. It means every person will go with the 0. So we shall say 7 divided by 10. Everyone will take zero. We are saying everyone is going to take zero. Reason being, seven is less than 10. Seven cannot be exactly divisible by 10. So every person will take zero. Then from there, we shall say zero times 10, which will give us zero. Then from there, we have to subtract. From there, we have to subtract this. We shall say 7 take away 0, which will give us 7. 
So I have my seven here. There, I'll come to the next step. I'll have to roll down three. I'll have to roll down three. So when we roll down three, what happens? We shall bring it here to make 73. So if we have 73, we shall look at this. We shall say 73 divided by 10. In simple terms, how many groups of 10 are in 73 is what we need to know. When you look at the number very well, you realize that there are seven groups of 10s in 73. We have got seven groups of 10 in 73. So we shall say 73 divided by 10. It will give us 7. That 7 should be written where 3 is, above the next digit there. So from there, we shall say 7 times 10. 7 times 10. So I'll have my 7 here multiplied by 10, which will give us 70. Then from there, I'll have my ruler and subtract the number. So I'll have to subtract this. I'll say, 3 take away 0, that is 3. 7 take away 7, that is 0. So what will be the next point? When you look at this number, we shall now look at the next digit. We shall have to bring the next digit, that is 4, down to 3, to make 40, I mean to make 34. We shall have to bring 4 down to make 30. Four. After making 34, we shall ask ourselves that how many groups of 10s are in 34? How many groups of 10s are in 34? If you want to determine the number of groups of 10 that are in 34, have a side paper somewhere, you say 10, 10, 10, that is 30. Okay, so you realize that when you add 10, you'll get 34. So here when I say 34 divided by 10, or how many groups of 10s are in 34, you will realize that they are three groups. So I'm saying 34 divided by 10 will give us 3. 34 divided by 10, it will give us 3. So from there, the next step I'll have three. I'm now having this three, the answer. Times 10. I now want to find, the reason as why I'm multiplying here, I want to determine the exact number of the groups we have obtained to find out the remainder on what we had. So from there, I'll say three times 10, it will give us 30. It will give us 30. Then if after having our 30, I'll have to underline, then we subtract just like the way we have been doing up there. So we shall have to subtract. So I'll say four take away zero, it will give us four. Three take away three, it will give us zero. So when you look at this number, you realize something. On the first digit, we didn't, uh, we just dealt with the first digit. When we went to the second digit, we had to roll it down. When we went to the third digit, we had also to roll it. So we are coming to the fourth digit. What do you think is going to happen next? Just basing on what happened here, basing on what happened here. Now, what is going to happen to the next digit? You're always following us. I think you know what is supposed to be done. The next step, we shall have to bring also 8 down here. So I'll have to roll my 8 to 4 to make 48. So I'll say this should come down here to make 48. After coming out with the 48, 
I'll ask myself that how many groups of tens are in 48? How many groups of tens are in 48? When you look at that, you realize that we shall have to get, uh, we shall have our 48 divided by 10. That's why I'm saying how many groups of tens can be obtained from 48. So here we shall say 48 divided by 10, it will give us four groups. So if I have four groups, I'll come with my four, I'll write it here. Then I will say four times 10. That will be my next step. I'll say four times 10, which will give us 40, which will give us 40. So I have to subtract. I'll have to subtract. That will be now the next step. That will be the next step. That will be the next step. So I will say 8 take away 0. It will give us 8. 4 take away 4. It will give us 0. So from there, I will have to ask myself, what will be the next step? According to what you are seeing, what will be the next step? The next step we shall also have be required to bring 8 down, just like the way we did here. So I will bring my 8 down here. I will bring my 8 down here. When I bring down 8, you realize that I'm coming out with 8, 8. So after making 8, 8, what will be the next step? After coming out with 8, 8, what will be the next step? We shall have to, uh, to get our 8, 8 divided by 10. In simple terms, how many groups of 10s are in 8, 8? That's what it means. So we shall say 8, 8 divided by 10. 8, 8 divided by 10. How many groups of 10s do you think are obtained or can be obtained from 8, 8? So I will, say, I will realize, you realize that if we consider groups of 10s in 8, 8, they are only 8 groups. So if they are only 8 groups, so I will say 8, 8 divided by 10, that will give us 8, 8 groups. So if it is 8, I'll have to write it there. 8, 8 divided by 10, it will give us 8. From there, I'll say 8 times 10. That will be the next step. 8 times 10, which will give us 80. Then from there, I'll have my ruler and underline this. I'll have my ruler and underline that. Then I'll have to subtract. I'll say 8 take away 0. It will give us 8. Then we shall say 8, 8 take away, I mean 8 take away 8. It will give us 0. In simple terms, 8, 8 take away 8, we shall remain with 8. From there, what will be the next step? We shall have to bring 4 down to make 84. So I'll bring 8 from up. I'll bring 8 from up. Up to there. I'll bring 4 from up to make 84. So here I've come out with 84. After coming out with 84, what is required? I'll say how many groups of eight, uh, how many groups of ten can be obtained from eight to four. In simple terms, we are saying eight to four divided by ten. 
84 divided by 10. What do you get? We shall have 84 divided by 10. That will give us 8. In simple terms, there are 80 groups, or there are 80 groups of 10 in 84. So 84 divided by 10, it will give us 8. It will give us 8. 84 divided by 10 will give us 8. Then from there, what will be the next step? The next step, we shall have to get this 8 times 10. 8 times 10. That will be the next step. 8 times 10, which will give us 80. After there, I'll have to underline my work. So that my work will appear neat. So from there we shall have to subtract. So we say 4 take away 0, that will be 4. 8 take away 8, that will be 0. Then from there, ask yourself what next? The next step is bring another digit down. That will be 0. So I'll bring my 0 down here. I'll bring my 0 down here. I'll bring my 0 down here to make 40. After making 40, I'll say 40 divided by 10. 40 divided by 10. 40 divided by 10. So when we say 40 divided by 10, in simple terms, we are asking ourselves that how many groups of 10s can be obtained from 40? That is what they are trying to mean. So we shall come to realize that they are only four groups of 10 that can be obtained from 40. So we shall say 40 divided by 10 will give us 4. Will give us 4. In simple terms, there are only 4 groups of 10s in 40. So 40 divided by 10 is equal to 4. 40 divided by 10 is equal to 4. Then from there, the last step will be 4 times 10. The next one will be 4 times 10, which will give us 40, which will give us 40. Then from there, I'll have to underline. I'll have to underline. And I will subtract. 0 take away 0, 0. zero 4 take away 4, 0. So after reaching here, I'll come to the conclusion and say, there are 4, what do we have? 7 million, 348, 348,000, 840, 800, 840, divided by 10, is equal to 734,884. Then from there, you'll have your ruler and underline your answer. That will be the answer to the number we have looked at. So that's how we shall move on step by step according to what they have asked now. So when they talk of dividing by two digits, this is what is required to be done. Let's look at this, the second example. So we can continue, we look at the second example and we see how things will be. So the second example says divide 
divide divide eighty two millions four hundred sixty three thousand uh, two hundred twenty five by twenty five. <clears throat> so I want us to look at the second example. The second example is saying we divide eighty two millions four hundred sixty three thousand two hundred twenty five. That's the second what the second example is demanding us to do. So the first thing since we are using long division not a wrong, uh, not a wrong, but uh, actually it is a long division, not a wrong. So since we are using long division method, I'll have to come here and I first draw my long division sign. That will be the first step to go. I'll have to draw the first one. Remember, the number which is going to be divided should be inside the long division sign. So I will have here. So we'll have here 82 millions 463,225. So this is what we are going to have at the moment. We are going to have our number, which is going to be the whole of this number is supposed to be divided by two. So I'll say divide by 25. That's the number we're going to divide with. First and foremost, first of all, I say the first digit is supposed to be divided by the outside number. And each of these digits should be divided independently. So if it is supposed to be divided independently, I'll come here and say 8 divided by 2. 8 divided by 25, not 2. We shall have 8 divided by 25. So when you look at this, you realize that 8 is smaller than 25. So if it is smaller than 25, it means you can't be divided and gives the exact number or the exact answer. Instead, it will give you in decimals, and we are not dealing with the decimals yet. So, since we have more digits, we shall say 8 divided by 25, everyone will not be given anything. That is 0. So, we shall say 0 times 25, which will give us 0. Then we subtract. Then we subtract. So we shall say 8, take away 0, it will give us 8. After giving us 8, we shall have to bring down 2, just like the way we were doing on the first number. The first digit was divided, the second was brought down, the third was also brought down, the fourth was brought down, the fifth was brought down, the sixth was brought down, the seventh as well was brought down. And remember every digit was divided independently. So when we look at this, we shall also have to say two will be brought down here to make 82. So after coming out with 82, we shall have to ask ourselves here that how many groups of 25 can be obtained from 82? That's what we need to know. Now what we do, we shall say 25 will go into 82, how many times do you think so? They are most likely to be three, or they are three. You can come outside if you want. You say 25 plus 25, those are two groups. What do they give us? Five plus five, 10, one. One plus two plus two, that is five. Two groups gives us 50. But remember we have 82. So if we have 82, let me add another group. That is 25. 25 plus 5, that is 5. 5 plus 2, that is 
7. But we have not reached 82. So if we have not reached 82, let me add another 25. Uh, add another 25. 5 plus 5, that is 0. Uh, it is 10, we shall write 0, we regroup 1. 1 plus 7, that is 8. 8 plus 2, that is 100. When we check at this, 100 is beyond 82. So if 100 is beyond 82, what happens? If 100 is beyond 82, then we shall not consider the last group of 25. We shall remove this. Because it, when you add here another group, they will be beyond. Or the number, it will go beyond what we are given. And we are not allowed to go beyond the number that we are given. Instead, you are allowed to come to the number which is closer the given number. So from there, I'll say we shall come up to 75 because 75 is a little bit closer to 82 compared to 50. So we shall take 75. And how many groups gives us 75? One, two, three. So we shall say there are three groups. We can only obtain three groups of 25 in 82. So if we can find 25, then we shall say 3 times 25. That will give us 75. So I'll come and say 3 times 25. That will give us 75. After having our 75, I'll have to come and subtract this. I'll say to take away five, it is impossible. So if it is impossible, I'll have to borrow here one. I leave here seven, I make this 12. 12, take away five to give us seven. Seven, take away seven to give us zero. Then from there, what will be the next step? Just like the way we were doing on the first example, we shall have to bring another digit down. So I'll have to bring four and make up 74. So we have come out with 74. If we have come out with 74, what next? We shall say how many groups of 25 are in, tw uh, in uh, how many type groups of 25 are in 74. According to what we have just summarized the first one, you realize group 24 gives us 75. Those are three groups. But here we have 75, meaning that it cannot go up to three groups. So what we do, we shall come and say they are two groups. They are two groups. So those two groups, we shall say two times 25. Two groups will be two times 25. In other words, I'm saying 74 divided by 25 will give us two. After getting this two, we shall say two times 25, which will give us 50. Which will give us 50. After getting our 50, then we subtract this. We shall say 4 take away 0, that will be 4. 7 take away 5, that will be 7 take away 5, that will be 2. Uh -huh. So after reaching there, we shall have to continue just with the procedures the way we were doing on the first number. So if we continue the way we were doing on the first number, we shall have to bring another digit from up down here. So when we bring down here six, we shall now have 246. So we were asking ourselves, or we are asking ourselves, how many groups of 25 can be obtained from 200, 
260, I mean 246. So what we shall do, we shall simply come aside just like the way we have done on the first number. We shall say, we know already the three groups. The three groups are giving us 75. So if they are giving us 75, let's add another group on this. The three groups have given us 75. So I want to add another one group. Another one group will be 25. When we add another one group, we shall come out with 100. How many groups are here? One, two, three, four. Four groups are giving us 100. But we are already in 200. So I know four groups group 100. So these are four groups. These are also four groups. So the four groups of 100 and the four groups of another 100. The 200 will give us eight groups of 25. Eight groups of 25. Four groups of 25 give us 100. So if you see 100, just know those are four groups of 25. Another 100, there are four groups of 25. So if we are in 200, it means the 200 gives us eight of 25. But they didn't give us only 200. So if they did not give us only 200, we shall continue. Let's add another 25 here. When we add another 25, this will give us 5, 2, 2. That would be 225. After accessing 225, remember we have added another group here. So these are nine groups of 25. Then from there, we have 225. Here they gave us 200. Eh? Six, uh, 46. So we shall have to add another group to see if it will fit within the limit or it is beyond the limit. If it is beyond the limit, we shall remove it. If it is within the limit, we shall consider it. So we shall say 5 plus 5, 0. Because it is 10, we shall write 0. We regroup 1. So we shall say 1 plus 2 plus 2. That is 5. Then 2 plus 0, that is 2. Now when we add another group, you realize that we shall go beyond what is given. So we shall not add this group here. We shall not add this group. We shall now remain here, nine groups. So we shall say it will give us nine groups. After accessing nine groups, we shall say nine groups times 25, which will give us 225. After there, we are required to subtract. So we shall say, 6 take away 5, it will give us 1. 4 take away 2, it will give us 2. Then 2 take away 2, it will give us nothing. We shall be required to bring 3 down here. To make 213. After making 213, we should say how many groups of, two, uh, of 25 can be obtained in 213. You realize that when you consider here, only eight groups gives us 200. But this is 213. When you add another group, you will go beyond the number because this is 213 but here when you add another group you will come out with the 225 but here we have 213 meaning that we shall stop on eight groups so we shall say they are eight groups we shall say they are eight groups 213 divided by 25 is equal to eight so after obtaining eight I will come here and say 8 times 25, which will give us 200. Thereafter, we shall have to subtract. I will say 3 take away 0 will give us 3. 1 take away 0 it will give us 1. 2 take away 2, 0. Then from there, we shall continue. We shall bring down another digit, just like the way we were doing in the first example. 
And when we come with another digit, we shall make now 132. Once you come out with 132, what would be the next step? 132, we want to consider how many groups of, 100, uh, of 25 can be obtained from 132. Remember, four groups gives us 100. Now, if four groups gives us 100, let us see five groups by adding there another group of 25. This will give us 125. And 125 is close to 135. Are 32. So I'll say they are five groups of 25. They are five groups of 25. Because four groups gives us 100. When you add another group to make five groups, they give us 125. So I'll say they are five groups. Then from there I'll say five times 25, which will give us 125 groups. So we have to subtract like the way we are doing it. So we shall say, take away. If you take away five, it is impossible. So we shall be forced to borrow here one. Then we leave there two. We bring that one here to make 12. 12, take away five. We shall come out with seven. We shall come out with seven. After coming out with the seven, we shall continue. We said two take away two, it will give us zero. Then one take away one, it will also give us zero. Then from there, I'll come to the next digit and I bring it down here to make 72. After making 72, I'll say 72 divided by 25. 72 divided by 25. How many groups of 25 can be obtained in 72? When you look at this, the two groups gives us 50, the three groups gives us 75. And 75 is beyond 72. So it means we shall stop on two groups. Two groups will give us 50. So I will say, there are only two groups. Then from there, we shall have two times 25. Two times 25. This will give us, where am I getting this to? I've said 72 divided by 25, it will give us 2. After getting 2, we shall say 2 times 25. That's why you are seeing here 2 times 25, and that will come up with 50. After accessing our 50, we shall have to subtract. We shall set 2, take away 0, it will give us 2. Then 7, take away 5, it will give us 2. The next step, we shall also have to bring down 5. We shall have to bring down 5. When we bring down 5, we shall come out with 225. Then we shall ask ourselves how many groups of 25 can be obtained from 225. Remember that two groups of 25, it gave us 200. Then in 90 groups, it gave us 225. So when you have 225 divided by 25, 200 divide, uh, 25 divided by 25. 225 divided by 25 will give us 9 groups. It is equal to 9. It is equal to 9. So we shall say 9 times 25, which will give me 200. 25, 225, then we unline and subtract. So when you subtract this, you'll give us zero here, you'll give us zero here, you'll give us zero. From there, I'll come and say, therefore, 
82 millions 463,463,425 divided by divided by 25 is equal to 123, 123,000, 298,298,529, 529. Then from there, I'll be required to underline my answer. This is what is supposed to be done, and these are all the steps that are required when you are using long division method. Always, once you are handling this, follow all the steps. Every step you leave in mathematics, you are leaving a mark. So make sure that you don't leave anything or any step, or don't ignore any step thinking that you are rushing to get the correct answer while leaving out uh, some, 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 some steps. As you leave out some steps, you are losing marks. I encourage you, as you're still staying home, as we're still waiting for the situation to normalize, keep providing, keep following our work, keep following our lessons, and where necessary, post your question, and you'll be replied always. Would you wish to access the same kind of work that you have just maybe tuned your radio or I mean TV? Just now, now, then you found out that we have already moved ahead, yet you need to have the same kind of work or the same kind of explanation. I will simply refer you to BTN TV journals. Check their subscribe, everything. You will be able to access the lesson, check on their YouTube, check on their Instagram, Facebook, and the Twitter account. Everything will be there. However, without wasting a lot of time, let me also give you some numbers here, such that you work on them out. After working them out, you'll have time. When schools open, definitely you will present your work to the teacher who is learning mathematics at your school and will help you to do what is supposed to be done or he will help you to mark your work. So the first one I'll as I write, as you also write, I'll say divide, divide the following. Divide the following using long division, long division method, using long division method, using long division method. Number one, we have 72. Million two hundred and fifty six thousand eight hundred uh, divided by twenty one. Some of the numbers will give you remainders, some will not give you remainders. As you divide and you reach the last number with the remainder, don't get confused. We shall continue. Number two. We shall also have nine millions eight hundred sixty four thousand two hundred fifteen divided by fifteen. Number four three shall have ten millions ten millions. 
Three divided by thirteen. Number four shall have seven, eight, seventy eight millions two hundred eighty eight thousand divided by divided by divided by 15 or so. Lastly, shall have 42,078,783 divided by 11. So take your time and uh, you look at this, I want you to find out the answers that are relevant to what we have given. And from there, you'll be referred where you'll be getting our, your answers or to prove your answers just by following the messages that the BTN TV has put across. The system which is going to be active will enable us access the correct answers to what we've done. Very soon the system will be out whereby we shall be required just to enroll ourselves and we move with the system. As you get your exercise, it will always be marked and you'll get the feedback from the teacher direct. So always keep tuned, keep in touch with us. We shall move together until the lockdown is over. Meanwhile, keep this in mind. Are you a parent who would wish that your child should also access quality standard of education? Please, we welcome you to bring your child and register with us at Wisdom Center School in Wijesera District. That is Kaduna. Exactly, just immediately you go you have reached the school. Our school fees is really, really friendly. It is only 70,000 per child. We have buses that move and attract children in different places or destinations. We have buses which comes to Kigali, collecting kids in early morning for less than we take them back. At the same time, we have also buses that moves within the whole of Wijesela to collect children. So, in case you need the service, we do welcome you. Are you also a pupil who is interested to get a good education, background, from at a cheap price? Please talk to your friends and they bring you at Wisdom Center School. We love you. We need you. Stay blessed.